Are you wondering if you can lay your refrigerator down to transport it or to service it? The answer is yes, but before you lay it down, we're going to cover a few things first that you should know about it. Use extreme caution when tipping as refrigerators are heavy and may cause bodily harm. There are two major things you should consider prior to laying the fridge down. Water within the evaporator tray and the oil within the compressor. In the fridge is an evaporator tray that catches water from the freezer when the defrost cycle runs. Prior to tipping, you will want to ensure the tray is dry. To do this, first locate the evaporator tray on your refrigerator. On this model, it is located on the bottom behind the back cover. Then, place a towel or rags within the tray to absorb any standing water. If you do not drain it, you risk water dripping onto electrical components within the refrigerator. If this happens, you will want to wait until the components are fully dry before plugging the refrigerator back in. Otherwise, you risk causing a short, which can ruin the control board or any other components within the fridge. Now, onto the oil within the refrigerator compressor. The compressor is a motor and pump that moves refrigerant within the system. Inside of it is a piston that moves up and down to compress the refrigerant. Similar to any engine, this piston needs oil to stay lubricated. When the fridge is laid down, oil can move within the compressor and potentially enter either the suction or discharge lines on the compressor. The discharge line is the one you do not want oil to enter. The discharge line is the smallest diameter pipe leaving the compressor. You should be able to see the difference by looking at the lines. To avoid having oil enter the line when tipped, you want to make sure the discharge line is pointing up. On this fridge, we need to tip it on the right side when looking at the front. Since the oil will need time to properly settle within the compressor once the fridge is stood up, you must wait a minimum of 24 hours before powering the fridge on. If the fridge is on its side for a longer period of time, you may want to wait a little bit longer before powering on. Now, two other quick notes prior to tipping the fridge. You will want to remove the glass shelves and door bins from the refrigerator so they do not break or fall out. And you will want to tape the doors closed to prevent them from opening. If you ever need to buy parts for your refrigerator, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. That's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.